Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming at you with an emergency video, put your seatbelts on, okay? Because this situation, it got more plot twists than Johnny Sin's movies, okay? Literally, something new just came out regarding Dr. Disrespect, and let me tell you, man, everything is, every everyone, everyone is looking like this right now, but the homie Nick Merckx, is just wilding out, he's just chilling, he's like doing helicopters out there, and uh, I, everything might be good in the hood, but see, the situation here is this, right? Dr. Disrespect has now deleted his Twitter post that he put out, uh, his statement! Oh, he deleted that! He deleted that! We're gonna get into that one here. Like the video if you just wanna know the truth, man. Dislike the video if you don't wanna know the truth. I wanna know where you guys at. Shout to the homie Geeks and Gamers. Roll it. The crazy story of Dr. Disrespect continues, and it has so many twists and so many turns yeah. that no one can look away. It is truly fascinating to watch this whole thing play out. And as of this morning, just a few hours ago, he has now deleted the tweet that has caused so much controversy for him. And this is the tweet right here. As I've said many times, I don't care what some weirdo that worked for Twitch had to say. I don't care what some blue haired land well uh, with pronouns in their bio had to say about Doc because those yeah. weirdos are always going to be fake victims and mm. they're always going to have someone that they need to go after based on the latest NPC update that they're receiving from their mainstream overlords. They're probably crying about Elon Musk right now because he did an interview with Donald Trump because of course, Orange Man, bad um but in terms of dr disrespect i have said consistently forget what all those weirdos have said the most it's the yeah it's what doc said yeah I'm, I'm sure he's that's what he's gonna say yeah doc did admit to it in his statement and a lot of people are also saying that it was uh, it was a 17 year old bro it was a 17 year old some people are saying it was a minor bro it was a minor uh here's the thing though we don't know whether it was a 17 year old or a 16 year old or 15 12 years old eight years old we don't know none of it the age has not been mentioned uh and, and this is where it's uh it, it becomes like if this is why people are 50 50 with the situation because some people want to know was it who was the minor right i mean i'm not saying like people want to know in terms of like whether or like who that person was in terms of the name or the address no nah, none of that but people want to know whether it was a female or a male most probably a female but here's the thing though we don't even know whether it was a kid or or like 17 year old or 18 year old it's weird though not trying to defend doc here because here's the thing doc himself did say this is the words of doc man not my opinion i'm seeing people mention 17 year old i'm seeing people mention 16 years old 15 years old 12 years old guys we don't know the age okay simple as that i'm trying to be unbiased as possible here we don't know the age but what doctor himself dr disrespect himself said he did message and uh, a minor inappropriately back in 2017 he said the answer is yes he says the intentions of the message were not bad his words not mine that's what he said the intentions were not bad but the conversation would sometimes lean inappropriately so what does that mean i mean some people say that yeah it was just a locker room talk where he was trying to bully a kid other people say that inappropriate such as like sexting a minor listen i don't know but these are like i'm trying to cover both sides here because this is what's going on uh one is believing he did it other is believing he did not do, uh, do it despite his own statement on it right so it, it's a it's a wild situation and now he deleted that uh, i don't know I, I don't get it why he deleted that a month after uh pushing it he deleted that i guess he's trying to make a comeback maybe i mean we all knew he was gonna make a comeback he has been hyping up his comeback but why delete it though damning piece of evidence from a public relations standpoint against Thoughts? doc is this tweet right here this is what makes it so bad and he has now deleted this tweet and in particular in this tweet it's what's read at the bottom here were there twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017 the answer is yes were there real intentions behind these messages the answer is absolutely not these were casual mutual conversations that sometime leaned into the direction of being inappropriate yeah. but nothing more nothing Ooh. illegal happened no pictures were shared no crimes were committed i have never met the individual and i went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with twitch and that case was resolved by a settlement let me be clear it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me now what's interesting about this is if you go over to dr disrespect's twitter account a few days ago he had yeah. up, uh, updated his background banner and the background banner shows the torn up tweet talking about the twitch ban yeah and now he has deleted that tweet so it's obviously there's a lot of showmanship here going on with Doc 
and we don't know what he deleted that as well because yeah uh, but, but the header is still there right uh, and apparently a lot of people are now wondering like uh maybe, maybe he's gonna make a comeback and when he makes a comeback he's gonna release the twitch whispers the messages right the alleged messages that nobody has seen and this situation has been wilder than area 51 conspiracies the aliens conspiracies and all that it is crazy right now man nobody knows what's going on man we have more information on the aliens but we don't have information about like what he said in the messages crazy man crazy exactly what the next step is but he definitely has something planned and we all are going to be guessing as to what those next steps are if you go to yeah. his twitter account the most recent tweet is the i'm playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers um he got ratioed on this one i've talked about this in a video but he did get Pump the brakes real quick, right? Now wait for it. Here's the thing. I'm also seeing this um, being mentioned a lot by people. People are saying that he did pull a psych or he's going to pull a psych uh, later on and going to make a comeback. And this is uh, this was Doc's way of getting all the publicity. Maybe, but Doc, like, n nah. Like, n yeah, there are many ways to get publicities. But being labeled labeled as a PDF file, that's crazy, man. This is one of the biggest word. This is one of those words that can damage your life for good. And we have seen what has happened with Doc right now, you know. Uh, let go from his own very own studio. Uh, we're talking about Robert Balling. Uh, Robert Balling, right? The guy that was behind Modern Warfare 2 2009, the original game. So he was working with Dr. Disrespect and he's one of the very first guys that came out. He said, he said that he has seen proof and he acted on facts. I'm paraphrasing him. That's what he said a month and a half ago at this point. And he, based on the evidence, he cannot work with Dr. Disrespect or anybody that, that, that does stuff with minors or that attempts to go after minors. He said something like that, right? So it is crazy. So he cut ties with him, his very own studio. He's the one that started the studio without Dr. Disrespect, Midnight Society, the, his studio, his game. It wouldn't be there. It wouldn't be there. Midnight Society was founded by Dr. Disrespect. So he got a kick from his own studio. I, I don't even, I don't get it. I don't get it. So that happened. And, and of course, uh, he was in the same talent agency as Robert, ba uh, Robert Downey Jr. Not saying anything about Robert Downey Jr. He's great. Uh, just trying to make a point that Dr. Disrespect has been that big to be in the same talent agency uh, as Dr. or as uh, Robert Downey Jr., right? It's crazy. NFL, NBA, literally all the sponsors dropped him. Every game he had affiliation with, I believe, Rogue Company. They they had, uh, was it Rogue Company? Could be a mixing, I might be mixing up with another game, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But Rogue Company or a game like it apparently had a map of Dr. Disrespect. <clears throat> and Dr. Disrespect skin and they apparently removed that and then people were like hey bro I spent $40 I spent $40 buying that skin I need my money back and you want to know what those suckers do they refund people they refunded refunded people with in-game currency so for example you paid 40 US dollars or how much it was and they give you V bucks in Fortnite. That's essentially what they did. Or Call of Duty points, if we're talking Call of Duty, right? Crazy situation, man. Crazy situation. Ratioed right there, one hundred and sixty-four thousand on that one, uh, one hundred and thirty-eight thousand on that one. So he he definitely got ratioed, and it's it's about a fifty-fifty split. Obviously, yeah, he yeah. does have a huge following. He has a huge fan base. There's no doubt about that. I've never disputed that. I never will dispute that. But as you can see, the tweet in question is now gone. The most re uh, the most recent uh, thing besides the one he deleted that he had discussed things are still uh, still up. Listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from this settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can say since this is the effing internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal. No wrongdoing was found, and I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. So what is his plan? Is his plan to drop receipts? That's what I think should happen it would be fascinating yeah. if he was i i, I yeah I, and listen man i i hope uh he comes out of the situation and, and i hope he has redemption only only if he drops evidence honest genuine evidence that clears his name genuinely what i mean by this is that evidence that is not tempered and evidence that 100 proves that 
wh whoever the person he was messaging, he was not like sexting and he was not being like a creep. Uh, and if it turns out he was like, you know, ban having a banter, bullying kind of thing. Yeah, it's bad. I'm not defending that. Like you should not be doing that. But but you know that would be less bad. Ten times, hundred times less bad versus like you know messaging. Let's just say a twelve year old kid uh, and, and uh, sending like crazy stuff in terms of uh, inappropriate. He said inappropriate as well. So uh, yeah, right. You know what I mean? Like if, if he was just trying to bully a kid in a sarcastic way still bad but that's like 100 times less bad than the the uh, the accusations that are going around right now right he has been accused of pdf files and all that that is insane man that is insane uh so if there is genuine evidence he drops that clears his name yeah absolutely man i i want to see redemption because uh you know what it would be good it would be good i don't want to see that crap going around because for example if doctor really did what they say he did the, the victim, the minor, would be scarred for life as well. I don't want to see that. Uh, the family would be scarred for life as well. The family would have ran into some issues and they would have had a bad time and, you know, they would have to deal with this. I don't want any family, any victim, any minor to deal with this crap. Uh, and uh, if it turns out Doc is innocent, then it's going to be good for Doc. It's going to be good for the family of Doc. And there would be no victim. And that means that no uh, wrongdoing to the minor and no wrongdoing to the family. So yeah, it's going to be good. And on top, if you're a fan of his, it's going to be good for you as well to find out that he did nothing wrong. Right? If you're a hater, well, I guess you're going to be seething at that point. You're going to be coping. But, but you feel what I'm saying, right? But of course, if... It turns out, like, if you get the receipts and if we find out, like, what was uh, said exactly, and if it's really, really bad, then, of course, you cannot defend Doc, right? Already, based on what Doc said, you really cannot defend Doc, though. Uh, I'll be honest, man. But I want to see redemption, though. I I, I want to see uh, the, the positive outcome from this as well. I want to, uh, I hope, like, nothing bad was happened. But based off of so far, that's the keyword, right? So far, what Doc has said so far it does not look good man it doesn't uh, it doesn't look good it doesn't look good so now he removed the response and uh let's see if he drops the evidence he's going to sit there and drop receipts uh to show uh, to clear his name that's the I only thing he, he can do at this point does he have the receipts i don't know I feel like if he had the receipts, he would have already dropped them. But we're talking about a showman, and Doc is a showman. So he is building all of this up so idiots like me will make videos on it and continue to build the anticipation and the speculation to get the, the ideas out there and the conversation out there to more and more people. And he's really, really good at this. So is that the motivation behind it? Maybe. Time will tell. Maybe. Will it matter to some people? No on both sides you've got people on the pro doc side that they're absolutely going to support doc no matter what yeah understand it. you have people on the anti-doc side that are going to hate him no matter what and those are the npcs i don't think that there there's a problem with you being a fan of somebody and trying to find uh the the good in the situation but the npcs the people that don't have a vested interest in doc except to hate him and to cheer for his downfall um though they're gonna find someone else like i just said earlier they're probably after elon musk right now because that's what they've been programmed to do then there's a, a large group of people in the middle and i would consider myself one of the people in the middle because I'm not a fan of Dr. Disrespect. I'm not a hater of Doc. I'm just covering the story for what it is because I find it to be interesting and fascinating. And I can be swayed one way or the other based on these uh, receipts if he has those receipts. If he has those receipts. But if he doesn't, then this yeah, right here over. is the receipt as far as I'm concerned. Because yeah, facts, facts, facts. If he doesn't have receipts and now he deleted this... It's not a good look, man. It's not a good look. After everyone has seen it, it had, what, like 100 plus million views? Because there is no defense of that from that perspective. There just isn't. I don't know how yeah. I don't know how you defend it. And it's not the fact that there was a message. It's the fact that he said that they leaned into um, being inappropriate. And it's also been, I guess we're guessing that he knew. Yo, he winked. He winked. He winked. And it's also been, I guess we're guessing... <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that was natural. He did not wing, but that was like he was thinking. He's thinking, and yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. 
I do that a lot. Everybody does that. Yeah, it happens, it happens. But I thought he winked. He winked for a second, like, like. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it, it looked like a winking, man. Yeah, come on, geek, stop be winking at me, man. Thing that he knew that it was a, a person he shouldn't be messaging. That's a little speculation, but he's not giving giving the proper clarification. So all we can do is run with what we are seeing right there from him. And unless he has receipts that are going to counter any of that, that's going to be the lasting legacy right there of Dr. Crazy. Disrespect, unfortunately. Crazy. So, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments. Guys, check out this video on the screen recently, the stuff that came out regarding Mr. Beast Crazy. I don't get it. I don't get it and I won't get it, okay? Check out this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.